coffee lovers around the world enjoy over 2 billion cups of coffee every single day? Despite its popularity, there's still a surprising amount of confusion about whether coffee is actually good or bad for us. In this video, we'll delve into the science of coffee and health, separating the myths from the facts. If you're a coffee lover curious about the real impact it has on your health, hit that like button and subscribe for more. Let's get started. Myth number one, coffee is bad for your heart. The common belief, many people worry that coffee is bad for their heart. They think it makes their heart race all the time, permanently raises blood pressure and increases their risk of heart disease. The immediate effect, it's true that caffeine, the main stimulant in coffee, acts like a little jolt of energy. It can temporarily make your heart beat a bit faster and raise your blood pressure for a short while. This is why some people feel jittery after drinking coffee. The long-term picture. Interestingly, studies suggest that people who regularly drink coffee may actually have a lower risk of developing heart disease. Scientists are still figuring out exactly why this might be the case, but it's a good sign. Why the confusion? Here's where things get tricky. Caffeine sensitivity. Everyone's body reacts to caffeine a little differently. Some people are more sensitive and feel the effects of coffee more strongly than others. Other health factors. If you already have high blood pressure or other heart-related conditions, it's essential to talk to your doctor about how much coffee is safe for you. The takeaway. For most healthy people, Drinking coffee in moderation likely won't harm your heart. It might even offer some protective benefits over time. However, knowing your own body's limits and caffeine tolerance is key. Myth number two, coffee causes dehydration. The idea. You've probably heard that coffee makes you pee more, leading to dehydration. That means losing too much water from your body, which isn't good for your health. What's really going on? Caffeine's effect. Caffeine, the main perk-me-up ingredient in coffee, does have a mild diuretic effect. A diuretic makes your kidneys produce more urine, pee. But it's not that simple. Coffee itself is mostly water. So while you might pee a little more after drinking it, you're also taking in a lot of liquid. Your body adapts. If you drink coffee regularly, your body builds up a tolerance. This means the pee more effect gets weaker over time. What the science says, Studies show that moderate coffee drinkers don't get dehydrated from their coffee habit. Their bodies balance out the fluid they drink with the little extra they pee out. Important things to remember. Listen to your body. Everyone's different. If you feel thirsty after coffee, drink water. It's always best to listen to what your body needs. It's not just coffee. Staying hydrated isn't just about coffee. Drinking plenty of water throughout the day is crucial for everyone, coffee drinker or not. Extreme amounts. Drinking massive amounts of coffee or any caffeinated drink can lead to dehydration, but most people don't consume that much. Myth number three, coffee stunts your growth. The worry. A lot of parents have heard that coffee can stunt a kid's growth, making them shorter than they should be. Where did this idea come from? It's a little unclear, but here's one theory. Caffeine might mess with calcium. Caffeine can slightly affect how our bodies use calcium, which is important for strong bones and growth. People jump to conclusions. Maybe some noticed that shorter people tend to drink coffee and mistakenly thought coffee was the cause. What science says, there's no real proof that drinking coffee stunts growth in kids or teenagers. A lot of factors affect how tall someone gets. Genes, your genes, what you inherit from your parents, play the biggest role in how tall you'll be. Nutrition, eating healthy foods is crucial for proper growth. Sleep, getting enough sleep is super important for growing bodies. Health conditions, certain medical problems can sometimes affect growth. The coffee and sleep connection. Here's one thing to keep in mind. Caffeine can disrupt sleep. Coffee too close to bedtime might make it harder to fall asleep, especially for kids. Lack of sleep can affect growth. Not getting enough sleep can mess with the body's release of growth hormones. Myth number four, potential benefits of coffee. The surprising truth. While coffee has gotten a bad reputation sometimes, science is showing that it might actually have some good things going for it. Benefit number one, fighting type two diabetes. What studies say, people who regularly drink coffee seem to have a lower risk of developing type two diabetes. This is where your body has trouble controlling blood sugar. How it might work. Scientists think certain compounds in coffee might help our bodies use sugar better. Benefit number two, protecting your liver. A healthy liver is important. 
Your liver does a ton of jobs like filtering your blood and helping with digestion. Coffee to the rescue. Studies suggest that coffee drinkers have a lower risk of diseases like cirrhosis, liver scarring, and even liver cancer. Benefit number three, brain boost, fight off brain fog. Some research shows that coffee might help protect against diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. These diseases affect memory, thinking, and movement. Not a cure-all. It's important to remember coffee isn't a magic potion. More studies are needed to fully understand the connection. A few more perks. Quick mentions. Coffee might also lift your mood, give you a little energy boost and improve your mood, help with workouts. Some athletes find it gives them a slight performance edge. Myth number five, important considerations. Coffee isn't one size fits all. Everyone's body reacts differently to caffeine, the stuff in coffee that gives you that energy jolt. Some are super sensitive. Certain people get jittery, have trouble sleeping, or feel anxious even after a small cup of coffee. Others can handle more. Some folks can drink a lot of coffee without feeling any of those bad effects. Listen to your body. Does coffee make you feel bad? Then cut back or avoid it. Don't push it just because others can drink more. Feeling okay? Then moderate amounts are probably fine for you. Special cases. Pregnancy. It's best for pregnant women to limit caffeine. Too much might not be good for the developing baby. Always talk to your doctor for personalized advice. Kids and teens. Caffeine can be extra strong for young people. It's best for kids to avoid coffee and limit other caffeinated drinks like soda. The timing matters. Trouble sleeping? Avoid coffee in the afternoon or evening. It can mess with your sleep schedule even if it doesn't make you feel jittery at the time. What's in your coffee? Plain is best. Black coffee has the most potential health benefits. Sugar and cream overload. Lots of added sugar, syrups, and cream turn your coffee into more of a dessert. These can add unhealthy calories and fats. Conclusion. In wrapping up our exploration of coffee and its impact on health, it's clear that the relationship between this beloved beverage and our well-being is complex, nuanced, and far from the realm of myths that often surround it. We've sifted through a myriad of studies and expert opinions to demystify the misconceptions and shed light on the factual benefits and potential drawbacks of coffee consumption. The journey through the world of coffee has revealed that, when consumed in moderation, coffee can offer several health benefits, ranging from enhanced brain function and metabolism to a potential reduced risk of certain diseases. However, it's also evident that individual responses to coffee can vary widely, underscoring the importance of understanding one's own body and any underlying health conditions. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the complexities of passive activity loss rules. If you found this information helpful, consider sharing this video with friends or family who could benefit from these insights. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more helpful content just like this. What would you like to see next?